What's going on guys, it's me Vera and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how you can use your PS4 camera on PC whether it's for streaming or recording regular videos. Let's get to it. Okay, first things first, what you're going to want to do is you want to download the PS4 Remote Play app for PC. So if you just go onto Google and you type in PS4 Remote Play, click on the first link and then you download whether or not you have Windows or Mac, whatever suits you and just follow the instructions and, and set it up. It's all pretty self-explanatory there. Okay, so once you download the PS4 Remote Play and set it all up, what I want you to do now is to get the Share Factory application. Uh, go to Videos. You can start a new project, but I would just like to go to my last one um, and click OK. That's fine, whatever. What you're going to do is you're going to press the X button. You're going to go Add Track 2. From there, you can see the camera is popped up. You just press Triangle. Okay, and then from here, you can change all the settings around. If you go and press square, click camera tuning, and you can change sharpness and stuff like that and mess with the settings. Okay, then from there, what I want you guys to do is head back over to OBS. Okay, guys, once we head back to OBS, what I want you to do is you want to click the plus for a new source. You're going to click on window capture, click add source. I've already got one set up, but you guys just go ahead and add a new source instead. I'm going to rename this remote play 2 because I already have one add source let me just move this out of the way so you can see so we get this screen here what I want you guys to do is click the drop down bar and you're gonna click on the PS4 remote play and it should come up with the remote play click done let me move this back into frame okay then we are going to reduce the size so you guys can see right once you have your remote play you're gonna right click it click on filters we're gonna add a new filter we're gonna change it to crop slash pad click done and it should come up with this screen here each of these numbers displays the amount that you want to cut from each side. So from the left, I want to cut 50, okay, and so on and so forth. So for me, I already have mine set up to the numbers that I enjoy or use. So the way I found it, guys, is I just put in a number, for example, 200. As you can see, you still have this black bar in the buttons. So I'm just going to increase the number until I have my cut the way I like it. Click done, and then you have a perfectly cut PS4 camera for the PC. As you guys can see in my stream setup, I have my camera here and it is all perfect. Just make sure guys you put your remote play above the display capture in the stream setup, otherwise the camera goes away. Yes, okay. The camera will go away like that. So just make sure you guys are careful with that one and put the remote play above the display capture so your camera is still showing. That's it for me today guys, I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial on how to use your PS4 camera for your PC. I understand in today's uncertain times, it's really hard to come across a webcam, uh, especially in my area, I haven't been able to get one for the last 2-3 to three weeks, so I've had to use the PS4 camera. I understand the quality is not the best, but it is what it is guys. I hope all of you are able to get your stream set up with Facecam now, and have videos set up with Facecam, and I wish you guys the best of luck. If you guys enjoyed today's tutorial, don't forget to drop a sub, leave a like, comment if you guys have any questions, and yeah, peace.